And I'm going to call it to order and I'm going to turn the floor over to Dr. Gluttony. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to say good afternoon to the members of the Board of Education, as well as those folks who are with us here in the Performing Arts Center, and those folks who are watching us online at this time on Rebel TV. Good afternoon to you as well. Let's go ahead and open up with the agenda. First item for our special call meeting today at the Performing Arts Center is to approve technology property as salvage. And I'm going to ask Ms. Finley to come to the front, and there she is. Good afternoon, Ms. Finley. Good afternoon. Okay, tell us what you have here. I'm going to just have your basic salvaging request. Um, we had a, a scheduled salvage pickup for May the 12th um, from items you approved about two board meetings ago before we um, did when we did our surplus and salvage. And since then, we have a couple more um, salvage items at each school, so we wanted to squeeze them in so they could get picked up on the 12th of the other things. Um, those are some items at the Tech Hub. And then we have a request for each school. All of these items um, are no longer in service cassette player. <laughs> um, those things are still laying around. Um, they are no longer in service um, and um, not um, items we could sell on our surplus site um, and we need to salvage them. Okay and we have one letter from each school's principal Correct. as well as uh, a letter from the district from you for materials and so it's a total of, is it six pages? Yes. Okay. So, members of the board, do you have any questions about this information that Ms. Finley's presented? Hearing none, Mr. Chair, I recommend approving the items as presented. Can the chair have that motion? So moved. Second. Is there any more need for discussion? All those in favor? Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Ms. Finley. The next item is an FY22 budget timeline. And so we're going to ask Finance Director Susan Wynn to come to the front and uh, give us uh, an update and overview of what you have listed here on this sheet. Yes, sir. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Good afternoon and good afternoon, board. Um, this is our FY22 budget timeline. I'm not asking for it to be approved today. We'll have it approved May the 13th at our regular board meeting, but I wanted to present it to you this evening. So it just outlines our budget timeline. June the 2nd, we'll have our newspaper ad in the Observer. Um, June the 10th, we'll have our first public budget meeting. June the 10th, we'll approve our spending resolution for July. June the 30th, we'll advertise for our second public budget meeting. That'll be July the 8th. And then July the 8th, we'll approve our spending resolution for August. And July the 8th, we'll approve our FY22 tentative budget to advertise in the newspaper. And then we will advertise that July the 14th. And then at a meeting to be determined in August, probably between August the 23rd and the 27th, that strictly ties to us adopting the millage rate the night we adopt the millage rate, we will also adopt our budget like we did last year. Okay, and the reason for that variation there, we have to coordinate with the county and we also receive data from the county Correct. Uh, to make that approval. So this is, uh, this is something that we're presenting at this time for, for information purposes. So we're not gonna ask for an approval, but as Ms. Wynn said, we'll recommend this on May 13th. Board, are there any questions uh, about the timeline as presented at this time? Okay, so it, it's reasonable to expect that we will probably present this as is for Correct. approval at the May 13 meeting. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wynn. Next item on the agenda, Mr. Chair, is personnel, and I defer to you whether there's a need for executive session. Mike, you good? Bobby, you good? Mr. Deweesh? Okay. Terry? Terry, do you need just a second to, so you can see? We can wait. Do you need a second? We're good, sir. Okay. So next item is personnel sheet dated April 30th, 2021. Mr. Chair, I'll give everybody a moment to get to that attachment. Okay. Okay. Do we need tech help? Maybe. I'd like for, I'd like for everybody to at least be able to see all the names. Yeah.
is everybody good, able to view at this time? I'd just like to thank everybody for their patience. Board members are using some new technology this afternoon, and so. All right. Personnel sheet dated 4-30-2021, resignations, and these are all effective 5-26-2021. Mr. Chair, if it's okay with you, I'll just take these collectively then. And these resignations effective 5-26-2021 are Cassie Callahan, Rita Chapman, Lisette Oliveira, Laura Owenby, and Vanessa Strasbaugh. I'll make that recommendation, Mr. Chair. Okay. Can the Chair have that motion? So moved. All in favor? Right, sorry, I'm sorry. I went a little fast on that. My bad. All right. So we need to vote again. All right. Okay. We need to take action to rescind two previous recommendations, and both of these are effective dates of 4 20 2021. So we can take these recensions collectively, and it's Teresa Brown and Ashley Phillips. Make that recommendation, Mr. Chair. Can the chair have that motion? You so, have that motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Okay, thank you. We have a recommendation, and this is pending completion of paperwork and background check. It is Cheryl Hayes for the Transportation Department. Make that recommendation, Mr. Chair. Can the Chair have that motion? So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor. Okay, thank you. We have recommendations effective the 2021-2022 school year, and all of these, of course, pending completion of paperwork and background check. Uh, take the first one, Teresa Brown, school nutrition at 90%. Make that recommendation, Mr. Chair. Okay, can the chair have that motion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Okay, thank you. The next recommendations are all for the position of teacher, and I will take these collectively. Jill Abercrombie, Myra Johnson, Amber Jones, Catherine Manacuso, Rebecca Nadio, Susan Shiflett. Make those recommendations together, Mr. Chair. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Okay, thank you. Our final recommendation, Mr. Chair, is again pending completion of paperwork and background check. This is for administrator position. Uh, I will say that this will be uh, a recommendation for the principal of Fannin County High School, Dr. Scott Ramsey, as an administ administrator. Make that recommendation, Mr. Chair. Can the chair have that motion? You have that motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Okay. Those opposed? Okay. Motion's carried. Okay. Carries. Okay, and Mr. Chair, that concludes the personnel sheet, which concludes item number three for the call meeting. Okay, Chair seeking a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Mr. Chair, if I may, I'd like to uh, recognize someone who is, uh, who is here present in the auditorium, and uh, I would wait and do this at the, at the May meeting where we have a few more people, uh, but uh, I understand that Sydney Taylor's last day is May 7th, and she's going to be leaving us. And so I just want to give her a special shout out and just thank her for, for her coverage uh, with the News Observer of events, uh, not only in this Board of Education, but throughout the school district. We really appreciate you, and we wish you all the best. All right. Thank you.